Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told that each year the value of an investment increases by 0.49% of its value the previous year. And we're asked which of the following functions best models how the value of the investment changes over time. So we have four options here, and we basically have two distinctions to make. Is it decreasing or is it increasing? And is it exponential or is it linear? So first of all, is it increasing or decreasing? Well, it literally says in the problem that the value of the investment increases by 0.49% of its value each year. Therefore, it is increasing. So it's not a decreasing function. Now we have to determine, is it increasing exponential or is it increasing linear? What do these terms actually mean? Well, exponential means that over time, the rate of change is changing itself, right? So the amount of increase from, let's say, year one to year two is different from year 10 to year 11. In a linear function, the rate of change is constant, right? So if you're gaining $100 every year, that's going to stay the same for the entire length of the investment. So is the rate of change changing, right? Is the amount that you're increasing changing every year? Well, yes, it is. Look at how the question is worded. We are increasing by 0.49% of its value the previous year. What does that actually mean? Let's say we start off with $100. Since it's increasing every year, at some point we're going to be around $200, right? 0.49% is very little, so you know it might take a while to get there. But let's just say we're taking this to infinity. That's going to be eventually hit at some point. 0.49% of the value of 100 is different from 0.49% of 200, right? So therefore, when we're looking at the next year, the increase is going to be different. If you were to actually like look at what this would end up being, um, we, you would end up with 100.49 or 200.98, but that's not the point. The point is that the rate of change is changing. Therefore, this is an exponential function, not a linear function, and C is your final answer.